Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I would like to do a spread today on Alec Baldwin, seeing how he's doing after that horrific gun accident. A uh, little backstory, what I did find out today through TMZ was it was actually a real gun they were doing target practice with, and then they would try and then put in the uh, gunpowder or you know the false bullets uh, and that could have been a mistake number one and then there were two other major errors uh, they did use a gun expert um, that really wasn't an expert her dad taught her her dad was an actor that's another mistake uh, she wasn't too confident she did a podcast uh, from after doing her first movie uh, talking about you know how scary it was so she really wasn't she never did take special training for it uh, she picked it up through watching and whatnot. So that was a big error. Um, and a lot of the, on the sta on the crew, a lot of people were walking because there were a lot of errors being made. And the, the woman, poor woman that was shot and killed uh, was decided that she wanted to be loyal to the movie and to the set and to finish it. Uh, but some had walked. And so there were a lot of problems. Just want to get um, down and dirty here and see how... Alec Baldwin is feeling. He obviously looked very traumatized from the incident. Um, you know, how can you blame him? On his cell phone, bent over. He looked absolutely horrified. I, I really felt for him in those images, as a lot of other people have. Yeah, very emotional looking images. Uh, so anyways, let's find out how he's feeling with this tragedy. I know there's going to be some lawsuits. No doubt there will be wrongful death lawsuit. Uh, the director was hit in the shoulder and survived. So let's find out how is Alex faring. Uh, he's got a young family with lots of kids. It's got to be a hard time for them. I wish them well. This was a major horrific accident, not intentional. So this is done with love and care. Despite when I, and not quite as much when I do Harry and Meghan, I will admit. Okay, here we go. So how is Alec Baldwin doing? Spirit guides and angels, please be clear. How is Alec Baldwin holding out? Let's get down to his energy here. How's, how's things going in the home front for Alex? How's things going? Okay, here we go. The first card that came out is the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles right here. And that is in the reverse, no, upright position. So with the Nine of Pentacles upright, that is, um, is it really? No, Five of Pentacles, excuse me. Wow, my light's pretty dim in here. I need to put some more light on. I've got a little gloomy here with my candle. Oh, well, <laughs> it is fall and it's cold and it's raining. Okay, so Five of Pentacles is conflicts, uh, poverty and loss. It's a total loss, absolute loss, horrific loss. Yep, you got that right. And it creates a major conflict in his life now. He's got this conflict that he's going to have to flip it and heal from. But right now, he's here, you guys. So that is the uh, situation at hand. Uh, the challenge for him is, to re is the queen of wands in the upright position. Uh, that is the remaining in the spotlight. This is the spotlight card. It is feminine energy. doesn't have to be identified. It doesn't have to be his wife is what I'm getting at. It does, re spreads don't always have to be gender, uh, you know, into the gender with the card. So I'm thinking right now, uh, he is, it, it's, it's a very melodramatic situation. Uh, it's, you know, it's, everything is going downward. He's just not feeling like he wants to be in the spotlight at this moment in time, uh, is how I would take that. He just needs to be in hiding right now, uh, because it's a horrible situation. His energy's down, his enthusiasm's down. Uh, it was hard on the business. It, it's, 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 it's going to really affect this movie and the ability to push forward with it is really going to affect him. And he's not loving the idea of it right at this moment in time because he is suffering from this loss. So that is those two cards right there. And I will turn them your way because I have had complaints. So there you go. I, I remembered this time. Say yay me. <laughs> Here we go. So what is the third position is the goal. The goal and the motivation uh, was to be happy on the set, you know, keep everyone happy. They were using it for gun practice. They were trying to stay upbeat. They did do horseback riding on days off. So they tried to make fun of it. And 
but currently it's not a happy situation is how it is at this point in time. So the next position is the fourth position, and that is the distant past. The distant past was things were falling apart, just like what I was saying. People were walking, the hierophant in reverse. Uh, the hierophant is the, you know, the person, in, the leader, the, the, the sacred truth card. Uh, it is guidance. So the guidance was not on par with what they needed to do. The guidance was poor because it's in reverse. Um, it's, it's being a bit rebellious. So it was a rebellious nature with the guidance. And unfortunately, that truth came out. That truth did come out because it is a hierophant. Typically, truth does come out. They were trying to keep the truth from coming out. But unfortunately, it really did come out. And so it is, it is basically from being rebellious, not going along with the, with, with the way that things are supposed to be in this position. In this position, you know, you're going along with the institution of what's expected they were breaking the rules. They were breaking the rules. And that's showing me that the rules were being broken here. And so that is the, um, that is the past, distant past position. The recent, the recent past uh, is here. And this one here shows a nine of wands in the reverse position. So there's no fulfillment. Uh, the energy and enthusiasm is down. People are depressed right now. This guy, look at him. He is sitting in gray skies. Everything's dead. Nothing's growing. He is down and out. That is how people are feeling right now. Uh, sitting down, it just basically got the wind knocked out of him. This guy's sitting there just, my God, what am I going to do? That's how this card really feels is what am I going to do now? Things aren't going well. Um, and so that's what this one shows right here. And that is going to go there. And what is the, the next one is going to be the future. What do they think the future influence is going to be? The future is the page of swords in the upright position. Getting back on track with the page of swords. Uh, needing to be alert. This is needing to be alert. This person has got to be very careful and alert with the weapons. And she's holding a weapon. It's a sword, but you got to be alert with the weapons. Uh, and that's what this really is speaking in terms of pulling this card. This is a new path, uh, getting back on the path. So I would say they will get back on the path. It will happen, but they're, they're going to be forced to be extremely alert. They'll probably put extra people on the job uh, to watch the rest of the movie being made. Uh, it's a very defensive position, and they're going to gather more information needed to find out exactly what happened. Um, and so people are going to watch them closely because it's a risk. And so that's what's going to happen. So that is the, what's going to happen in the future with this, with this movie set. Uh, the seventh position is the questioner. Uh, the decision. The decision is eight of cups upright, which is we're going to overcome. This is an overcoming situation, seeking and moving on. We have to get this movie done. We've got to just move on. So they're going to move on. It's not a happy situation, but they're going to finish the movie, I think. I will ask my pendulum just to make sure. It could be moving on, literally not doing the movie. But I see that they probably will, the fact that I got the swords here. But this is definitely investigating the situation and spying on them and all of that. So that is a spy card right there. So that's why I say there's going to be a lot of people watching them. So this could be just literally giving up the whole movie or we are going to just simply move on from this tragedy and we're going to we're going to finish this. So that is the seventh position. The eighth position is the environmental factors. Uh, it was definitely the world in reverse. This is a public failure. Massive public failure is what happened. This is how everyone's feeling on the set. This was such a massive public failure. So now they're going to wonder, will the movie even sell? Will anyone want to watch the movie? Can we even sell this piece? So we might find out that maybe with the final card, maybe they won't. Maybe the moving on might simply be, we're not going to finish the movie. I'm starting to think that way because of the world here being such a public failure. Uh, so this is a lack of completion. Uh, with the world upright is completion and success. So with it being this possession, position, they may not because it's not a completion in that position. So it's looking like a negatory. It actually truly is. Nine, the inner emotions, is the ten of wands. Ten of wands, is, it's a burden and oppression. It's a last stand. We are desperate 
too, it was too many responsibilities. Uh, and basically in this position, it's saying no and taking a break. But here they're feeling completely burdened and oppressed. And this is, they got to make a last stand whether or not they want to do this movie or not because it's a major public failure. Everyone's going to be watching this movie. They're going to have spies everywhere checking every little nook and cranny what they're doing. So they've got to really come to a decision here with this last stand card. So what is the outcome going to be? Hmm. The outcome is going to be justice in reverse. So what does that mean? Justice in reverse. That means self-doubt and inner critic. They have a major decision to make. But right now there's so much self-doubt and inner critic, they're not sure if they can even do it. Uh, this position is, you know, it is, it's a wake up. It's wake up. It's wake up time. It is reap what you sow. Uh, it is also awareness. Uh, it's also the no card. So I would say there's a strong indication because judgment can be harsh. I'm going to say no. It's looking like they will not finish the movie. It's looking like this movie is going to completely collapse based on my spread here. Uh, the public failure they had to, they were at last stand here, uh, you know, moving on card here. Uh, they didn't go along with the rules and regulations with the, 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 um, the Hierophant card in reverse. Uh, yeah, and they're going to have spies. Everyone's going to be keeping an eye on them. It's looking like this movie just is, is just a crash and burn. It may not finish. It may not finish at all. I'm going to ask my pendulum now. Um, so this is what he, it's, the energy is basically showing what he's thinking about. He's thinking about what's going to happen next. So that's what, what is on Alec Baldwin's mind. Uh, it wasn't his own emotions and feelings. I have to say this. It was, he went straight to business. What's going to happen now? So that's what he's thinking about right now. So that's why, what that whole energy spread was about, not his personal life, but his business life. And so that is what we got. So let's find out, will this Will this movie rust continue filming? Will the movie rust continue filming? Please be clear. Please be clear. Will the movie rust continue filming? I'm getting no. No, it's, I think it's going to be a major crash and burn. Nope. I don't think so. No. It's a very clear no, you guys. No. Mm -mm. Done and over with. It was such a major error. In the past, there's been a few movie errors, big, big ones, and they did finish it, or it was like the last scene shot. I know The Crow had a, had a killing. That one did go to completion. And so did another one. I can't remember the name of it. Maybe one of you guys remembers it, remember it. But it was where that one actor, I hate to say it, but he was, his, he was, his head was amputated uh, by a helicopter blade, and he was holding a young girl, and it was... I believe it was at the very end. It was one of the last, uh, it was like the last part of filming. I think that was the same thing with The Crow. I, it may have been, you know, towards the end of filming. I don't know how far in they are with this, but maybe if you know, you can tell me. Uh, but yeah, it's happened before. And I just this time, it looks like since Alec is the one who's funding this, it is his thing. This is going to financially cost him big time with the, the wrongful death and the neglect, people walking away, uh, not going along with protocol. This is going to really harm him. So that's why we went straight to the business thing. And that's why this movie is probably not going to finish production. So let's get some uh, Lenormand here. Lenormand. Let's get some on Alec Baldwin and how he's feeling. So yes, we've got crossroads here. You know, which way to go? Where am I? Where are we going to do? What are we going to do? We have got to unlock the situation, the key. So he knows he has to unlock the situation. Where are we going to go? Under the surface is the sun that shines a light on the whole situation. Everyone's paying attention to it. Shines a light on the situation. This, this, this whole situation has to be unlocked. How did it happen? Why did it happen? And what do we do now? And everybody's paying attention to that. In the center of the deck, it is saying mice. It is a mice. It's eating at everyone. It eats at, it eats at the work. It eats at everything that's been done. So it's eating at everyone. It's, it's depleting you. It, it's someone who takes, um, it's, it's eating away at the job. It's eating away at the idea of even finishing the movie. Um, uh, and it's destruction. What, you know, when they eat away, it's, there's destruction. So, and it's shining a light on the situation. So that 
doesn't bode too well for him in terms of finishing it. Let's pull some more cards here. How is, how is his personal life? How is Alec Baldwin's personal life right now? How is it at home? How is it at home? How is he recovering? How is he recovering? This is my old handy dandy bicycle deck, which looks terrible, but my energy is so connected to it, I continue to use it because <laughs> it's always on point. It's always, always on point. So how is he feeling? How is Alex feeling? How is he feeling? Give me his emotions. Give me his feelings. Is he mad? Is he frustrated? How is he feeling? How is he feeling? Okay, what we have here, we have here five, we have problems resolved. So I think he thinks he has the problem resolved, the five of wands, very much conflicted. Uh, it is with the five of wands, there is, that is challenged. He's very, very challenged right now, but he thinks the problem's been resolved uh, and that quite possibly he can um, figure things out. But we have here queen of hearts in reverse. So I would say his wife is not happy with whatever it is he's deciding. Uh, she's not in total support of it is what I feel from that. So there is a little bit of conflict. Maybe she wasn't loving the movie. I get that too. She could not have been loving. She might have been very conflicted with the movie herself, not loving what this was going on with the set. Uh, her enthusiasm uh, for it was down. So that could be why the problem is now resolved because there were issues. She probably saw it. Maybe she put in her little two cents and it was ignored quite possibly. Then we have here, yes, queen of hearts here. So, wow, I got two queens. I must have mixed up two decks, but you know what? It's okay because I have two bicycle decks and if it happens, spirit wants me to have it. So this was uh, her mother love, protection. She has very protective mom love energy and it was being disrupted. That's what I'm going to say there. It was being disrupted. She didn't like what was going down. She did, she did have her children uh, near the set. She saw it and yeah, she didn't like it. That whole uh, nurturing energy thing going on here. Uh, let's calculate that. That comes to 10, 25, 29, 29 comes to eight of hearts, water into wine. Take a bad situation and make it better. Uh, it also water into wine could be deceit. So she felt quite possibly things were a little bit deception here. You know, they weren't playing by the rules. And, um, you know, maybe this is a, the best for the best, that this whole thing was shut down, although it did cost someone's life. She wasn't digging it. She wasn't digging it because of this Queen of Hearts in reverse. And with the Five of Wands being conflicted over being enthusiastic about it and feeling warm fuzzies about it, she wasn't feeling warm and fuzzy about it whatsoever not with the queen of hearts in reverse. Uh, and so her mother energy, that mother bear energy was really fiery when she was there. So she just wasn't loving uh, the environment and what was happening. Uh, so she sounds like she's, I think she's kind of a rock for Alec. I think he's changed a lot for the better since he's been with her. I think she is his rock. I just get that strong feeling that she is his emotional rock. Uh, so let's find out more. Let's, how's, how's their marriage? How's their marriage from this situation? How is their marriage from this situation? There we go. Things are happening very fast. And it's love arrows because it's the eight of wands, which is also love bombing. So I say she, she's giving them lots of love. She's giving them lots of love. Uh, the news is coming in very fast and furious also. And that is what's happening. So she, she's giving him a lot of comforts, but it's news just flying in, just flying in. And so that's what's happening right now. Let's get what else is happening at home. How's he feeling about this? We got here the mastery skill and work in reverse and working together in reverse. He's realizing this three of pentacles in reverse. There's gonna, the creation and expansion of his job is going to be halted. Uh, and it's going to affect the money. And it's going to possibly affect, with the three of pentacles, it could affect his marriage because they're going to lose money. So he's really business-minded, you guys. He's very business-minded. I'm not getting a lot of hearts and feelings here with him. Okay, I wasn't, you know, it is what it is. You know, I was hoping for some hearts and fuzzies, but he really is all business. He's really a businessman. But we do have the olive tree. He knows it's going to affect the family with the six of wands. And he's trying to feel harmony at home. But we got here, you're not getting what you think you're getting with this here. And he, it's, it's also my narcissist card. I will say that. 
and he wants to win. So he feels he did win with his family. He's a winner with his family despite the fact that the business is tanking. They're not going to, they didn't have masters of skill on, on the job. They already accused of that. That went down, you know. She was not a weapons expert. And the weapons expert really should be responsible for these situations. But unfortunately, they make the last protocol in these weapon experts, they make the actor check the gun to make sure that, that it's all cool and well to go, which really a lot of people are saying now they disagree with that. Why can't you depend on the weapons expert? But she was no weapons expert. So that's why we have this master skill in reverse. He really screwed up and he knows it. He's grateful to have his family. And it is happening fast, really fast. And he's very, very business-minded. He's not a hearts and feely guy. He just isn't. Uh, and then we have here, yes, we have here roadblock, hostility, intention, and his ego is affected, along with the fact that I had gotten the narcissist card too as well. So he's a narcissist who is, his ego is affected. And he's feeling overwhelmed now with the eight of swords as well. He's feeling like, I'm going to get scapegoated here. I'm going to get totally scapegoated. So, yeah, not a heart, heart's feely guy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm not too surprised because, well, his, people don't usually change their stripes. Even though she's making him a bit of a better man, he truly has not changed. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. This is for my opinion and allegedly's only. <laughs> this is tarot. May not be true. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's calculate that. That comes to 17. 17 comes to fence sitter. Fence sitter. All right, so he has to fence it because all the news is coming in. So we're waiting. It's a wait and see here of how bad it's going to be for us or for me because he's very, he's very ego driven here. And I did get the narc card. So. His ego is going to be affected. He's going to feel scapegoated. So he's going to go a little bit to what the narcissist typically does, which is they, they play the pity game. And that's what the scapegoat is. You kind of, it's kind of the pity party card. So here we go. And it's the jealousy card too. Eights are, tend to be jealous and it's infinity jealousy. So, uh, allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. So he is fence sitting. And what else is he doing? Ten. 13 we have here he's sitting at home he's fence sitting at home it's the home card which is the four of hearts with the joseph magi system so yes he is sitting at home scape he's sitting at home feeling like a scapegoat he can't work he's happy to have his family it's all happening so fast and they're just fence sitting they're just fence sitting and waiting because it's just coming in so that is what's happening kind of interesting wow all right yikes i'm glad i'm not them all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this isn't too dark. I should up the lighting on my camera here. Maybe if it's not, it, it could be because of that. So hopefully you still enjoyed this somewhat of a romantic spread <clears throat> joke. Okay, bye, you guys. Enjoy. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye.